What up, everyone? Countdown to the final boxes of the month. Final two. We got Custom Fan Box. This one started out last month, and it's back again because I loved it last month. And I hope in the future they actually do get an actual box instead of their priority mailbox. Um, it's never a big deal or anything like that. It doesn't make or break it. But it's always nice to see like a, a box with like their logo on it. It's always exciting when you see it come in the mail. It's just it's just a kind of a nice feature. And when they have the plain ones, like I, I understand because they're a brand new company, so I'm not blaming them or anything. But I just on a side note, I hope in the future that they that they do like get like an actual established box. I would like to see that. So this month we obviously get a T-shirt, and you got to pick your own. And I couldn't decide. Um, I waited too long on the first t-shirt I wanted and it disappeared because the problem with this company is they change their t-shirt designs like almost weekly. And it's they change it too much so you got to decide right then. So I, I, even when the new uh, release of shirts came out I couldn't decide. So I got three of them. When I do the value of this box it will only be for one but might as well take a look at the ones I got. So I got this Spider-Man one with Spider-Man and Venom on there because I thought that was just like a really cool design. Um, the colors don't look as vibrant as they did on the website but it's still really cool. I just like how they designed that. They have such awesome designs on there. I don't know where they're getting them from and how they have so many but it just really puts things in perspective for like other boxes like how sometimes you get kind of a crappy shirt design and how this company has just like hundreds of them on, on retainer. It's just crazy. So and then I got another one, this one, I was hoping to wear for Avengers, but it didn't get here in time, but this really cool Captain America Red Skull Hydra one. Yeah, and so this is pretty similar. It looks like the same designer as the last one, um, the Spider-Man shirt. It looks very similar in design, but just very cool with the silhouette and the colors, and it just looks really awesome. So I hope when these get washed that the design stays on there because I very much like these shirts. And then the last one I got was this sweet ass Charmander shirt of him roasting up some marshmallows and his Pokeball. How could you not love that? That's so awesome. Look how, look how adorable he looks. Just a little Charmander in there toasting up some s'mores. That is crazy cool. I like that. So I couldn't decide which shirt so I just got three of them. And for ten bucks a piece, like, it was kind of hard to argue with that. Um, the shirt quality isn't like super high or anything like that. It's pretty mediocre. It's not bad, but they do get gilded and it's so it's not super high quality. So I hope these survive as in like I hope they're able to be washed and I hope the designs don't fade and they don't shrink a bunch. So hopefully, fingers crossed, these like last more than one wear. So yeah, let's hope for that. So we got that. Next, we got a little Yoshi plush. So this is pretty cool. It's got a little suction cup so you can put it on glass if you want to. This is a nice little little plush figure. I like it. Um, I saw in someone else's box they got a Mega Man one and theirs was freaking awesome. I'm so jealous and I'm curious why I got this one instead of Mega Man. So I think I'm getting too broad when I'm selecting categories. I need to narrow it down a little bit because I really wish I'd gotten Mega Man. Not that this isn't cool. I really like Yoshi too but I would have much rather had Mega Man. So, Yoshi. Next, we got an umbrella from the Big Bang Theory. It says Bazinga on there, Sheldon's famous catchphrase. And yeah, this is actually a really nice, like, trifold umbrella. And who can't use an umbrella? Like, everyone needs one at some point or another, especially in the U.S. It rains everywhere at some point. So, this is very useful. and. I wouldn't really care what it's set on, it's just practical. I'll, I'll keep it in my trunk for whenever I need it. So it's just good to have. I didn't have an extra umbrella, and now I do. So cool. Got an umbrella. Then, we got a sleep mask. This is actually the second sleep mask I've gotten this month, which is weird. I, I never owned one, but this is a zombie one. Um, I don't think I would ever use this, and I honestly don't know anyone who does use sleep masks, but if you did, now you have a zombie one. So, zombie sleep mask. There you go. Then, we got a Pez dispenser and we got Superman on here. Um, I don't know if there are any other characters available. Um, I don't specifically remember 
selecting Superman, if I can recall. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I did. He's fine, but uh, I don't specifically remember requesting him. But yeah, Pez dispensers are very collectible and, and nice little candies. Sure. Then we got a keychain of Sonic. And I love me some Sonic. He's awesome. And the cool thing is it's actually a double-sided keychain. So the design is actually on both sides, which is cool. I was a little bummed out about that because usually when I get keychains like this, I'll turn them into magnets, but I need one side to be flat to do that. So I've done that with many previous keychains because I just don't use keychains, but I'll keep a magnet. So now I can't do that with this, which is kind of a bummer, but it's still cool to see a double-sided keychain. So that's cool, but I was bummed that I can't use this as a magnet. So unfortunately, I don't know uh, if I can keep this now because I just, you can only use so many keychains in your life. So, so there's that. Then, I got some stickers, some Dragon Ball Z stickers, and I love Dragon Ball. And these are actually some, like, um, the raised ones, so they're not just, like, pieces of paper. They're, like, the puffy kind, and they're actually pretty cool. They've got some really good designs on here, and these I will turn into magnets, and I'll put these all over my fridge. So these are pretty cool. I like that. And then the last item, we got some little finger puppets that are zombies, some little plastic zombies. And they smell good. They smell like plastic. And I like that. So yeah, some little zombie finger puppets. Just a little filler in there, which is cool. So, let's break this down and get into some value on this box. So, value time. So, for the shirts, like I said before, I got three of them, but that doesn't affect the value at all. All the shirts are rated the same, they're all the same value, they're all the same quality, and you got to pick your own. So. It's guaranteed you're going to like the shirt because you picked your own design. So $12 to $15 standard. Uh, it fit pretty decently. Um, the quality is not super high. It's a little rough. It's a little itchy. But that's just being nitpicky, so no big deal. So easily $12 to $15, especially because you know you love the design. Then, the little Yoshi. Um, normally, I would rate these kind of plush figures for like around $10, because um, that's usually what they go for. But this one specifically is very common. I was looking it up online. It's very easy to come by. They, these are selling all over eBay for very cheap, like very, very cheap, very similar ones. For, so for this one in this style, like six to $7, like maxed out, because you can find them easily much cheaper online. Then the Pez dispenser. So nothing crazy on this, like six or seven. Um, Pez dispensers are actually very collectible. Everyone in the U.S. knows, but anyone watching from the U.K. or anything like that, they're very collectible items. There are so many people, like there's actually conventions that go around for just Pez dispensers, like that show off collections and stuff like that. So they're very, very collectible. This one specifically, not really. It's just a common one that you'd find in any candy store. So this would get like, like six or seven um, max on that. That's even on the high end. Like if it was... If it was in a store right now, you could probably get it for like around four or five, but um, to buy it secondhand would probably be like six or seven, and it comes with some candy. So I think that's around a fair rating. Then the umbrella. So this is a trifold umbrella, and these actually, just for a common one, these are pretty expensive. Just for like a blank one on the cheap end, you could easily spend ten, twelve, even fifteen dollars just for a blank one. But for one with the logo on it, um, I put it right around 15 but likely even more than that if you wanted to buy it. They go as high as 20 and maybe even a little more than that. But to get around the middle and just for argument's sake, I'm going to value this right at $15. Then, the Sonic Keychain. So I'm bummed I won't be able to turn this into a magnet, but that's okay. Giving it the double-sided thing gives it slightly more value. Not a ton, but a little bit more. But this would go around 5 or $6. It didn't come in any kind of special packaging, so around 5 or 6 I think was common. You could probably find this in most comic stores that carry keychains, so 5 or 6 bucks. Then the mask. Um, this is uh, not super high quality or anything like that, but it came in a little package and it has a cool design. I put this right around five dollars, maybe six or something like that. But so not a ton of value. Um, but it did have a, a decent design. It's not branded or anything, so that may even be a little bit much for the value. But I'll put it right around five bucks. Then the stickers. These would get two or three dollars. I thought these were cool. 
Um, the, and they're the kind of raised kind, so they're like semi higher quality. And they pick some really good pictures and designs. So I actually really like these, and I'll be happy to turn these into some magnets. Then, our little zombie guys. Uh, for the pair of these, I could easily see this going for like a dollar. Maybe even two, but I could see both of them going for like a buck. Like, there's there's nothing super special about them. They're just little rubbery guys. They're pretty low in quality, but they're just cool to have. And they smell good. So yeah, little zombie guys. So, that brings the value on the low end about 52, and on the high end about 61. So when I first looked at this box, I didn't think there was high value, but when I broke it down, like, it actually got decent value. So... When you buy this with one shirt, you pay $30 for the box. And you get to pick your shirt design, so you'll never be disappointed. So with even on the low end, $50, that's a pretty good value. And on the high end, $60, that's, that's double your value. And that's the ideal thing. Like, that's the market you're going for. All these boxes, they're trying to get double the value. So that's what they're aiming for, and they, they pretty much hit that. So um, as far as the interest, um, I don't feel like they hit my interest like right on the head. And here's something I've learned about this site. So for anyone going on this site for the first time, or even ordering again, um, I've, I realize you don't want to make it too easy for them. They have different categories, and you only have to select one. Recently, I've, I've selected everything I like, just to hopefully get stuff I like, but you know, you should make it more specific. Like, you only need to pick one in each category, so don't honestly, don't make it too easy on them. You need to realize that for each category, they have an item for everything listed. They make the list, so they'll be able to meet it if you find it on there. So maybe just pick something you're interested in seeing that month. Like, if you haven't seen Avengers in a while, if you haven't seen Spider-Man stuff, select that. Like, be more specific and tailor it to your specific needs. Because I think, I'm sure I selected Mario and I probably selected Superman because I was just selecting everything I liked. But the stuff I got was, was just okay. Like, I was, it was okay to see the Yoshi. It was okay to see the Superman thing, but I would have much rather had Mega Man, or I would have much rather had, like, Batman on the Pez thing. So, next time I order, and I'm not sure if I'm doing it next month or not, but I'm going to be much more specific on that. But either way, the value was good. You got pretty much double, and you got things that were tailored to you for the most part, and you got to pick a shirt design, which, from the designs they have, are all very awesome. So, this box is going to get a 7 out of 10. I thought it did pretty well good value, good options, and it had a good mix of stuff. Again, the items in here weren't like super fantastic, they didn't hit home, but they were good. It was a good mix, and it was based generally around my theme, so they did okay on that. So I think 7 out of 10 is reasonable. Not as good as last month, but still pretty good. So I look forward to seeing what they do in the future, and it's good to see they didn't do the same thing as last month. We got a mug and a patch and stuff, and I was worried they were going to do the same thing every month. So I'm glad they changed it up so they are putting thought into it and they are doing different things. So that's good to see and I like that. So this has been a Custom Fan Box. So let me know what you guys think. And we got one more box to go for the month. Love you all. Peace.